In this video, I'm going to highlight some of the most common reports to show service desk, time tracking, and billing reports. With your service desk, you're going to add time and expenses to your tickets. Once you've closed that job, you will want to run an invoice job detail report to see all the different billable information against that ticket. To do this, go into the billing tab and find invoice job detail. Select your parameters. As you can see in the example below here, I've selected cash low sports in just the last two days. And now against that report, you can see the single job that I have done in the last two days. The time and expense, the rate per hour, how many hours, and total amount. It also comes up to a grand total as well. The agreement summary is a handy report that shows you all of your support agreements mapped against your clients. This is used to ensure that the correct billing information is in place. Simply generate that report and now you can see all the information about the agreements against which device. The engineer's performance report shows support technician response times and overall quality of service being delivered through resolution of tickets. Select all clients and generate the report and this will give you the overview of your engineer's performance. The ticket activity report shows you the amount of assigned, unassigned tickets and closed tickets per day. When you generate this report, this will put this into a nice little graph as you can see below. The mailing list report allows you to gather a list of all the email addresses of your clients, provided you have added them in as people. This is very helpful when needing to send out an announcement across all of your clients. The last one to show you is the time tracking summary. Now this is a very important report. This report can ensure that 100% of your technician's time is captured and billed out accordingly. And again, this one is in the graph view. This report is also very useful to be scheduled on a daily basis. I'm going to show you how to schedule this report to be sent to you via email in an HTML format on a daily basis. To schedule this report, we need to select the schedule to run this on. So let's go to the scheduling tab. Make sure we have the top client selected and click new job. So in the example I've entered, this will make Navrisk automatically generate a time tracking summary report using the HTML format and then email that to the accounts at navaris.com and support at navaris.com email addresses as I've entered in here. Once you've done that, click save and that job is now a daily reoccurring job.